Okay, everybody, welcome back to Let's Play Warcraft. This is episode four. Uh, last episode, we left off with the first, I would say, third of Silver Pine Forest. So we started assisting the Forsaken in their sort of uh, defense of their land here in Silver Pine. So we're going to jump right back in, uh, talking to Sylvanas, the queen of the Forsaken. I have no time for she says, ride with me to the sepulcher. There are many things I wish to discuss with you. It is imperative that you understand the history of Valoran and the plight of the Forsaken. So I guess she's going to teach me all about everything. Oh, good, it's a cinematic. So you guys have to watch with me, I guess. I have not always been the Banshee Queen. Mm -hmm. And my people have not always been the Forsaken. That's true. Long ago, this land comprised the northern kingdoms of Lordaeron. Ruled by King Terranus Menethil. This is important history for you guys. Terranus had a son named Arthas. Arthas. Even saying his name makes my body quiver in rage. It's okay. This man-child, Arthas, took for himself a cursed blade known as Frostmourne. Through Frostmourne, Arthas killed his own father and raised this land along with every living creature in it. That's rude. My own death came at the hands of Arthas when he and his armies sacked my homeland, Quel'Thalas, and murdered my Her people. people would be my player character's race. In his vast cruelty, Arthas severed my spirit from my body and raised me as a banshee to serve in his scourge army. A similar fate befell all that would die to the Scourge War Machine. In death, they were reborn no. as mindless undead. But Arthas was not invincible. With each passing day, his power waned. His grip over the will of the damned loosening. Right. It was when Arthas was at his weakest that I struck. And though the hour of his atonement had come, the worm managed to escape his fate, returning to the frozen wastes of Northrend. With Arthas gone, so too was the control he held over the undead masses of Lordaeron. After recovering my body, I freed the remaining scourge that were left behind. That's nice of you. From the cruelty and mercilessness of Arthas, the man who would be Lich King, the Forsaken were born. Our goal. Our sole purpose was to destroy the Lich King. We threw our lot in with the Horde and began our journey towards redemption. Now, the Lich King is dead, and we have returned. The people who called this land their home in life do so in death as well. But the Alliance does not recognize our rights. They claim this land as their own, while attempting to invalidate the claims of the founders of this kingdom. I will never allow it. Never! Lordaeron belongs to the Forsaken. Always and forever. Well, that explained things about, uh, I don't know, infinity times more than I could have explained them to you. Uh, so I'm glad you guys got to see that, because that was pretty uh, informative. So now she says, do you know, do you now understand the importance of our mission here? Crowley and his alliance dogs must be stopped. They're literally dogs. A convoy of veteran troopers and forsaken catapults were ambushed earlier today while attempting to cross Olsen's farthing, directly south of here. It was a total loss. All troopers were killed and all catapults destroyed. Bloodfang's pack was responsible for the ambush, though likely they have all fled back into the hills, preparing their next cowardly strike. Their day will come. But for now, I want you to go to Olsen's Farthing and honor our fallen. Recover their forsaken insignias. Okay, I'll do that for you. Oh, look, Admiral Hadget is back with her with her man her man toy. Those that survived your assault in Fenris managed to drink the blood of the wolf. They turned into ferocious worgen, hell bent on vengeance. Now they paddle across Lord of Mere Make and assault Lake, not Make, and assault my sea dogs. Many have already been killed. The worgen monsters must be stopped. Make your way to the decrepit fields east of here and kill the Hillsbrad worgen that infest the area. Once you've killed them all, make your way to the Horde communication panel located at the docks. I'll be in touch. We're going to get some technology up in here. Thank the Warchief that you're here, Sanyadi. I've made a critical error with the Sea Dogs, and I need your help to rectify the situation. You see, I sent them out against the worgen coming from Fenris Isle, stone cold sober. They attacked the beasts and promptly got their butts handed to them. Many of them died, but a few still live, barely clinging on to dear life. 
Take this barrel of ale to the decrepit fields east of here and force it down the throats of the fallen sea dogs. Okay. Uh, let's go do the thing now. Oh, look, he put a barrel on my back, which is full of explosive ale. That's perfect. Um, you guys may also notice that I've changed my u my user interface a little bit, so my bars are smaller, they're a little bit less. I took off the big griffin art, so it just looks more sleek, I feel. so. Okay, now we are at the scene of the failure, and we're going to help these people. Oh, I guess I can't help this one. Okay, so I'm level 15 out of nowhere. I got a new talent, so I can either pick Speed of Light, which is a spell I can use to increase my movement speed by 70% for 8 seconds, Long Arm of the Law, which means every time I judge, we use my spell Judgment, um, my movement speed increases for four, for 3 seconds, or I passively have a 15% movement, movement speed increase plus 5% for each charge of Holy Power. I think I like Speed of the Light, but Pursuit of Justice is really good to... I don't have to pay attention to it, so I'm going to use that one instead. Oh, I'm, I'm, I'm pouring the ale on them. Oh boy, he's angry now. Oh, that's more than I bargained for. It'll be fine. I'm not worried. Are you worried? Oh, did you have to? Did you have to? Alright, now we're going to make our way to the dock where she said to use the communication panel, whatever that is, and we're going to see what happens. Okay, we made it to the dock, and there are... Ooh, he's a rare. He's a rare spawn. <gasps> I'm gonna kill him. So rare spawns appear in most places, and they usually, um, like, they're not as commonly found. They usually give more experience, and they usually drop something great, which is actually they just drop two things that I can wear and that are very helpful. So that's awesome. Okay, now what does this want? Hatchet's communication device crackles. Hatchet here. Are they all dead? Yeah! The communication hot soul hums. Those worgen you killed were the scouting party. There are hundreds more incoming. Looks like Crowley and Bloodflaying made the blood offering to every human in Lordaeron. Get in one of those horde cannons and send them back to their makers. Let the winter, the waters of Lordamir Lake run red with their blood. Kill 50 worgen with the cannons. Oh, this will be cool. Okay, you ready? We're gonna we're gonna shoot at the worgen. So, uh, oh gosh. Okay, I've got my cannon and I I can't really aim to. Oh, I see. I can. Oh, oh, they're coming. Oh, they're coming. Do you see that? No, 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 no. That's not allowed. You're not allowed to get on the shore. Go back to hell. Do you see the meat flying into the air? That's pretty brutal. Oh, oh, it did it. Okay, okay. I cannot wait to get this heavy barrel of ale. Should I mention, it's also explosive. So, like, I'm at risk of spontaneous combustion right now, and it's not happy. It's not a good time. Can't wait to get it off my back, you know? Aha! I knew it. Lesson learned, I suppose. We will not fail again. I'll be sure to have some ale on hand at the front lines. Okay, your boss is gonna love that. Though you killed a large number of the newly turned worgen, many more are sure to appear. Still, the result will have will have softened. Well done. Thanks. Okay, now that we've done that, we're gonna go south and do um, what Sylvanas wanted us to do, which is to get the insignias off of the dead forsaken. How about we? Oh, okay. Oh no. Oh, okay. Oh, a quest. It looks like a group of the ambushers stayed behind. Make them pay for their insolence. Kill all of the Bloodfang stalkers at Olsen's Farthing. For Sylvanas, for the Horde. Okay! That sounds like fun! So I need to get the insignias off of their dead bodies. How sad. Don't, don't do that. Don't hit me. I respected you. Oh, oh, I didn't mean to do that. No, I'm sorry, pig. What's in the barn? It's barricaded. Oh, Jesus! What the? Rude! I'm on fire! That was so rude. <sighs> I'm insulted. I'm insulted you would scare me like that. Caretaker Smithers. I'm gonna need one more stalker. Come on, stalker. I need you. I need I need you. That's 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 bound. You know, when you when you say um, to your stalker that you need them, it's bound to make them stop stalking you, right? The Banshee Queen's voice invades your thoughts. Okay, that's just not really nice. You've avenged the fallen Sanyadi, but there's more to be done. Oh. Search the nearby farmhouse for Alliance stragglers. Keep an eye out for any information that could lead us to Crowley and Bloodfang. Seek and destroy all that would stand in your way. Search the farmhouses at Olsen's Old Old Farthing. Okay. Oh, okay. Yeah, this is what it wanted me to find. And I got Smithers' logbook. What is your status, she says. This book documents a recent meeting with Iver Bloodfang. The location mentioned is the Deep Elam Mine. I know of this place. It has only one entrance. We shall corner and crush them. We must act quickly. They mustn't be given the chance to flee. I'm dispatching a squadron of my most powerful troopers to the Deep Elam Mine. I'm also sending the horsemen with them to ensure that nothing goes wrong. 
Meet him at Deep Ella Mine, east of Olsen's Farthing, and crush those rats. Well, actually, they're not rats so much as, you know, like, puppies. Some of them can be seen as chihuahuas. Okay, we are approaching the mine. And... Oh, look. It's the horseman, Master Forteski. Sure thing. I suppose we're to corner them first, then crush, eh? Yeah, Canadian. The mistress has put me in charge of this lot. Our primary mission... Oh, excuse me. The mistress has put me in charge of this lot. Our primary mission is to get in there, corner the rats, and kill them all, including Bloodfang. You've done us a solid service in getting the information. Join in the glory and help us drive a sword through their miserable skulls. Let me know when you're ready, and I'll call for the charge. We're ready. Ready then? Let's get a move on. Try and keep up. Sure, I'll just go ahead of you. That, that works too, right? What's a pretty mine? That's dynamite and explosives. I don't think we're... I, you know... These... That's explosives. I don't think we're supposed to... Oh, hi! Your doom. That's my line. What did he just... What did he just do? Okay. I don't understand anything that just happened. Okay. So Ivar came out of nowhere and bombed the hell out of all of our forces. So now I'm the only one left in that, that group. He just took out like 12 people by himself. What a rude person, you know? Okay, Sylvanas, I got your insignias and your dead army. What joy is there in this Have you recovered the insignias? Yeah, I just told you. I will see to it that these insignias are returned to the Undercity at once. The Registrar will place their names in a record so that their sacrifice may never be forgotten. That's nice. Oh, she's angry. What? Crowley. Oh, she's angry. I can't even yell that loud right now. Bastards. Though we're some of our strongest soldiers. I've underestimated Crowley and Bloodbang for the last time. Clearly, they are an enemy the likes of which we would have never seen, willing to sacrifice their own to set a trap like this. Unheard of in Alliance warfare. That's true, actually. The time has come to destroy Crowley, Bloodfang, and every dog at their command. To do this, though, will require cunning and planning the likes of which they could never dare dream. As one of my most trusted soldiers, I need you to go to Forsaken Forward Command, located in Gilneas. Really? And report to Deathstalker Commander Belmont. Again, I love him. I love him. We found our dead friend together. I've sent Belmont ahead with my plans. He awaits your arrival. Our Thor will escort you to Forward Command. Tell me when you're ready, and I'll send you on your way. Oh, I guess I'm on my, I'm, I guess, I didn't even say I was ready, but I, that's fine. It's fine. Oh, oh, look, this is relevant. This is very relevant. I have to show you. That is the wall, the Gilnean wall, or the wall of Gilneas, or something like that. Greymane wall, that's what it's called, the Greymane wall. That's what they built to keep each other, like, to keep people out of their city, but look what happened. It doesn't even matter anymore. It's just, it's all gone. It's all gone to hell. What do you say, Belmont? Well, if it isn't Sun Yachty Noob. Really? I hope you're ready for a battle, because that's all you'll find in this hellhole. We're at the heart of contested territory, and these worgen mongrels won't give it an inch. The Dark Lady has sent you and our Thora here for a very specific purpose. Before I tell you more, we must make preparations. Head east into the forest of Gilneas and search for near search near the trees and rocks of a region of the region for a special plant known as Wolfsbane. Gather as much of the Wolfsbane as you can carry and return to me. Our mission here goes far beyond the scope of the battlefield. In time all will be revealed. Okay. Forward Commander Onslaught looks incredible, first of all. Like, hello, you look like beastly. I love it. Two quests. I don't know how much longer we can hold out for. Crowley and Bloodfang's worgen know every hidey hole and safe spot in Gilneas. One minute they're standing in front of you, and the next minute they're gone. We're gonna lose this war to attacks of opportunity, even though we have a superior military presence. But Mama didn't raise no quitter. Forsaken until the end, my friend. What is up with this writing? I kind of like it. Head west into the headlands and help our soldiers on the front line kill the attacking Worgen rebels. Easy enough. Communications are down with all of our frontline outposts. As of right now, I don't have a damn clue as to the status of our troops in Gilneas. We need to re-establish communications. I need you to head west into the headlands and find our outpost on the coast. By now, the soldiers there are likely all dead, but their FCD might be operational. Grab the device and get back to me. Sure. First, let's go get the wolf's mane. Ah! Easy. It's a pretty plant. Alright, let's start on these rebels. Bad doggy. Boy, look at that! Look at the guy that threw a rock! Ooh, that's bad news! Let's do it! Let's kill him! 
Hi! No! I did it! I get a quest from doing that. That's pretty cool. Kurok's second head. The monstrosity has fallen, granting a brief reprieve. Reprieve? Reprieve? Help me. To the Forsaken soldiers on the front lines. Take Korok's second head and return it to the Forsaken commander onslaught at Forsaken forward command. And I get a new belt for that. Perfect. This is the FCDO, Forsaken communication device. And I guess I just bring it back to him then. That's easy. All right. We've killed all the rebels. We have our FCD. We have the Colossus second head. And we have our wolf spain, so let's go hand all of those in because that's gonna that's gonna that's gonna give us some nice things, you know? That's gonna be good for us. If I could still breathe, I'd let out a sigh of relief. Don't get too comfortable though. Your mission here has just begun. Okay. Level 817 now, that's pretty good. We're going pretty quickly here. Recover the FCD. That's all he says to me. With this device, I'll be able to communicate with you in the field. Now to check the rest of our frontline outposts. Okay. Korok is dead. That towering behemoth has killed hundreds of forsaken soldiers. You've done a great thing, Sanyadi. Thanks. Did you gather the wolfsbane? Belmont takes the wolfsbane from you. Good. Now just do as forward commander onslaught commands. Try your best to fit in with the rest of the soldiers. We don't want the Gilnea's liberation front to get suspicious. I'm literally an elf and everybody else is a corpse, but that's going to be easy. Sure. Oh, you didn't know they were watching us? Right now, there are five different Morgan spies looking down on our position. Just be calm and follow orders. I'll let you know when we're ready to proceed. That sounds dangerous. Dangerous, Belmont. Okay, Onslaught, what do you want? I'm not gonna lie to you. What about what I'm about to ask you to do is suicide. Chance of failure is about 95%. All communication from Dreadwatch Outpost has been severed. With the Worgen constantly rushing us, we have no means by which to get to Dreadwatch to check on our soldiers. I need you to head south to the outpost and check on our soldiers. I'll keep in contact through the FCD from here on out. Keep clear of the main road. Keep clear of the main road. What is this? Lord of the Rings? Is there ring wraiths after me? What do you want me to... Like, okay. Okay. Break in. Hey, look. There's still some people alive here. The FCD crackles with static. Dreadwatch is lost. This is bad. Real bad. If Dreadwatch is compromised, it means we've lost Gilnea City. Oh, fun. The FCD hums. Our next outpost is Rutsak's guard. Rutsak? Okay. Located due east of Dreadwatch. Make your way to Rutsak's while avoiding the Morgan Rushers, Sanyadi. You don't want to deal with those monsters by yourself. If you make it there in one piece, look for Captain Rutsak. Just be prepared for the worst. Sure. Oh, that's Gilnea City. Oh, that's really beautiful. I've been there once or twice before. Okay, we've arrived at Rutsak's guard. And look, nobody's here. Oh, look, he's inside the house. He's shivering. He's actually cowering. After we lost Gilnea City, the port fell. Humans are here. Reinforcements from Stormwind. They slaughtered my men, left me alive to witness their strength. To tell High Command, to tell them that the 7th Legion are here. That's bad news. That's like the elite Alliance soldiers. 7th Legion. They rushed us in the dead of the night. Their captain barked orders as the submarine slaughtered my men. Then he came to me, put his face in mine, and said something I'll never forget. The name's Master Sergeant Pletro Zarin, officer in the Seventh Legion. When you see your soldiers being slaughtered in your nightmares... Oh, this is really dark. I probably shouldn't make fun of it. If you even still dream, remember my name and tremble. Ugh! Rude! Avenge my soldiers. Kill the Seventh Legion occupying the Cathedral Quarter of Gilnea City, southwest of here. The FCD buzzes. The Seventh Legion are an elite special ops regiment. They've been there behind the scenes for almost every major offensive and military engagement the Alliance has ever done. This is bad news. How do they even get past our warships, and on whose orders are they here? We need to get our hands on their orders. This Pietro character will undoubtedly have vital information. Find him at the Cathedral Quarter in Gilnea City and take him out. Search his corpse for clues. How do we get there? We have to go over the bridge. Fun stuff! Fun stuff! Actually, no. We don't have to go over the bridge. We're gonna pull a Stefan, and we're gonna go in on the wall. Don't throw that at me! Rude. Okay, there's Pietro. Apparently this guy that slaughters all of his men, whatever. We've got orders from High Command that we can read. That's bad news. Status? Whew. Commander's not happy. An Alliance Armada is en route? How could this have happened? Cuts out for a moment. You hear Worgen howling in the background. Oh, good. You've got to hurry, Sanyadi. We're being overrun up here at Forward Command. Look around the Cathedral Quarter. There should be a telescope nearby that the 7th Legion uses for spying. I think I see it right over there, actually. 
Find it and use it to scout the harbor. We need to find out how the Seventh Legion got past our fleet. Hurry, we can't hold these beasts batch much longer. What does tomorrow bring? Probably a bunch of boats that we don't want to see. But let's check it out. Let's let's see what tomorrow brings. All right, this is the telescope. Let's check it out. Oh, good. Okay, that's their submarine that came in. That's what slaughtered everybody. But then on the submarine, we have a dude. Okay, it's a bro. It's a guy. And what's... Okay, I don't think I can see this through my telescope. I think this is some really weird out-of-body experience that I'm having. Through that telescope, there's his armada of warships. But it's only three. That's not that. I mean, it's still... That's a bad news, but it's... Yeah, Alliance reinforcements have arrived. I can see that. That's not fun. I'm unhappy. Torpedoed. We had everything at the waterline covered, but nothing below the line. They must have snuck in beneath our defenses and then blown our warships to smithereens. And now the rest of the Alliance fleet is nearly here. Ooh, level 18. That's so fast. Do you read me? Come in. This is likely my final transmission. The Worgen have all run forsaken forward command. It is now only a matter of time before the base is lost. Belmont and the Valkyr Athura have left. Belmont mentioned that they will rendezvous with you at Umberstone Village, located to the northeast. Find Belmont. Our mission, our very existence, depends on it. You're our final hope. Thanks! No pressure. No pressure, friend. Oh, also I got a new spell. Divine Shield. This is basically known as, like, the Paladin spell. Um, you are invincible for, like, this is eight seconds. Okay, I'm back at Rutsack's Garden. I'm gonna hand in this quest. The, though, we were, though we were shamed in battle, the enemy was not victorious. I will not soon forget this. If I make it back to Silver Pine, I will likely retire from the service. War is not in my blood. That's okay, friend. All right, I think we're here. Yep, Forsaken Flag. So this outpost is also dead as hell, but you know what? That's fine. Forward Commander Onslaught fought until the bitter end. He's dead. It took a pack of bloodthirsty worgen to finally bring him down. We must not let his death, or the death of all of our soldiers in Gilneas, go in vain. Our mission must succeed. Now I will reveal to you why we are here. Lord Vincent Godfrey spent his life defending the kingdom of Gilneas. When the worgen curse ravaged this land, Godfrey was one of the first Gilneans to take up arms against the beasts. It is said that upon discovering that his king was afflicted by the curse, Godfrey took his own life. He'd rather be dead than serve the very creatures that he had defended his home against. We are going to give him a second chance, Sanyadi. Together, we will battle southeast towards Tempest's Reach to collect his corpse. We're going to resurrect a Gilnean hero. Oh, look, they follow me. They're my followers. Yeah. Okay. Okay, friends, let's do this. Oh, the FCD buzzes. We got a new quest. Oh, it's their commander talking to me. This is Commander Lorna Crowley of the Gilnea's Liberation Front. If you're hearing this message, then no then you know that the Alliance once again controls Gilneas. Lay down your weapons and surrender. Failure to comply will result in your death. Our forces have logged on to your position and will arrive shortly. Resistance is futile. We have to kill 20 Worgen combatants. Sure, let's do it. I know we have to turn left on this road, but that's all I know. Oh, I see it. Let's just take a shortcut. Oh, no, let's not. Let's kill more. <laughs> I love it. <laughs> there we go. We've killed all of their combatants that we need to, and now we can hand that quest in. No time to bask in the battle of glory. We have a job to do. I have no doubt more of these beasts are on the way. Oh, he jumped off a cliff. That's how he took his life. He jumped off a cliff. Here we are. He's a little rotted, but no worse for the wear. We must hurry before the Alliance finds us. That's true. With our mission objective secured, the time has come for us to make our escape. Though Gilneas is lost, with the aid of Godfrey and his lieutenants, we will have it back in no time at all. Go now. Fly back with our Thora to the Forsaken Front in Southern Silver Pine Forest. The Banshee Queen awaits your arrival. Okay, so I'm going to take his dead body back with me. What about you, Belmont? How will you get back? He says, I'll be fine, Arthur. The Worgen lost our scent. It's doubtful that we even know that they even know we're here. I'll probably make it back to the Forsaken Front between before you two or three. Now move out. You must not keep the Banshee Queen waiting. Okay, I trust you to get there without us. That's fine. Oh, Belmont. Belmont. Oh, if you die too, I'll be really upset. Like, that's literally about 20 of them. Alright, we've arrived at the Forsaken Front. Oh, look, it's Godfrey. Oh. There's also Baron Ashbury, and there's Lord Walden. And I guess they're all being brought back to life? That's interesting. Sylvanas. I had no doubt that you would succeed. I hope you can understand why I kept the true purpose of your mission a secret. Should Crowley and Bloodfang have found out about our plan, they would have surely gotten to Godfrey first and disposed of the body. Stand by. The time of their rebirth is at hand. You are unwavering in your loyalty to the Forsaken. Know that what you have done for us, for the Horde, will not go unnoticed. 
with Lord Godfrey and his men recovered, we have a great advantage over the Gilneas Liberation Front and the rest of the Alliance dogs. Now stand by my side as Lord Godfrey is reborn as one of us. Together, we will bring him and his men into the fold. This sounds like a bad idea to me, to be honest. Rise, Lord Vincent Godfrey, be reborn as an instrument of my vengeance. Okay. Oh, I live again, he says. You live to serve me, Godfrey. Together we will crush the Worgen Uprising and retake Gilneas for the Forsaken. For the Horde. Ooh. Ooh. Yes, of course, she says. Okay, so she's like kind of secretly working for herself, is the idea. The irony of what I've become is not lost upon me, Lady Sylvanas. You know, shit, he didn't want to be a, a, a war werewolf, so he became a zombie. I don't even know, I'm not gonna. Though I've always said, better dead than Morgan, or in this case, better undead than Morgan. Prepare your men. The Gilneas Liberation Front amasses at the Grey Main Wall. Soon their reinforcements from Stormwind will arrive, and we haven't a minute to waste. Armor, weapons, whatever you may need, you will find at the supply depot behind me. Go now. I wish I got free weapons and armor. As you wish, Banshee Queen, he says. Once again, you've impressed me, Sanyadi. Without your aid, we would have not made it this far. Walk with me. Again? Okay, I'll walk with you. You gonna talk to me, or you're just gonna walk? Today marks a new beginning for the Forsaken and the end of the Alliance and Lordaeron. While Godfrey and I make preparations for our assault upon Gilneas, I want you to lead our attack upon Ambermill directly east of here. The former Dalaran Magi of Ambermill have erected a magical barrier that somehow cloaks them from vision. They currently reside within some type of pocket dimension, awaiting orders from the Alliance to begin their attack. We must prevent their assault by making a preemptive strike. Venture to Ambermill and find information that would grant us access to the mages. The Magi of Ambermill have employed foul magic to keep us away. Elemental servitors created with immunities that we cannot breach protect their territory. Venture east to Emmermill and slay the unyielding elemental servitors that guard the town and recover their cores. Bring their cores back to me so that I may just devise a method by which we are able to destroy them all. Sure! I love it. Okay, let's head to Emmermill. This could be very fun. Oh! Ooh, a magical purple bubble. My favorite kind of bubble is magical and purple. Okay, I swear to god, I've killed like a hundred of these elementals, and I'm still not done this quest. It's really, really annoying. But it's not, because I love this area. It's just making the recording size bigger. Okay, there we go. I got all of them. Now I'm going to get this codex or whatever it is. Let's do this. All right, inside the town hall. Let's see what we have here. Oh, it's the floating book. Magical runes dance along the spine of the codex. It's mine now, friend. All right, we're back at the Forsaken Front, and we're going to hand these quests in. Dashla, what do you want? I have recovered the servitor cores. Well done. The praise the Branchy Queen lavishes upon you is apparently not unbounded. Thanks, Dasha. Dashla, dash, da, la, 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 dash, da, da. What choice is there in this clever mages. The codex is sealed by a magical ward. Pity that they weren't clever enough to realize that the former archmages of Dalaran are now forsaken. That's true. Take the Codex and travel north to the Sepulchre. Once there, find Dalar Dawnweaver. Dalar is a former Archmage of the Kirin Tor. Surely he'll be able to bring down the protective wards surrounding the Codex and pry its secrets loose. Hurry. Okay, I'll just take the bat to the Sepulchre, because that's going to be a lot faster than running there. Dalar Dawnweaver, hello, friend. Yes, what is it? The Dark Lady requires my expertise? Well, of course. Give it here, boy. The Dark Lady is correct in her assertion that I am able to unlock the Codex. Unfortunately, I need a signet ring from a Dalaran Archmage to do it. My own ring was taken when I died many years ago, but there still might be a way. When Dalaran has floated away, the outskirts of the city remain. Far to the east lie the ruins of Dalaran. It is there that you will find an Archmage known as Relios. Take his signet ring and bring it back to me. You may use the portal behind me to get to the crater. Oh, cool. Also, another quest. Uh, under ordinary circumstances, I am not a vengeful man. In fact, I am somewhat of a pragma pragmatist? Pragmatist. Pragmatist. I don't know. I don't know. You see, practicality is a paradoxical notion to vengeance. Most revenge ploys are highly impractical. But, in this case, since you're already going to the ruins of Dalaran, you might as well kill every Dalaran-affiliated human that you see. The reasons that I want them dead range from hatred to anger to betrayal, but I assure you they're all legitimate gripes. Do this for me, and I will pay you handsomely. Sure. So this is the Dalaran Crater. It's literally where they pulled the city up out of the ground and flew it away. So let's just leave the crater because these things down here are of no benefit to us. 
I like how these people are conveniently lined up for me just to slaughter them one by one. It's like I don't even have to find them, they're just in a row waiting to be killed. There he is. I got the ring. Let's go back to Delar and see what happens. Hi friend. Did you recover an Adalaran Archmage's signet ring? Perfect. I hope this wasn't too much trouble to come by. Relios was a pupil of mine back when I was a mortal man, thereby making him a competent and formidable, formidable adversary. I suppose I could have warned you ahead of time. Now, let us see the ring. Delara trails the ring across the spine of the Codex. There we are. Alright, what else? I thought for sure that with the death of a dozen of my most hated enemies, I would feel a great burden lifted from my shoulders. Sadly, I do not feel such a thing. Perhaps I am a psychopath. That's not very nice to say about yourself, or anybody, really. You ableist scum. Oh, I'm level 20! Okay, hi. I'll explain to you what that means in a second. Delara flips through the Codex. Oh, that's bad. Delara closes the Codex and looks up at you. With this ring, only one may enter the pocket dimension at Amber Mill. That person will then need to fight through an army of magi and kill the Archmage that's generating the phase from the inside. Only then will the dimension fold, ejecting all of the magi. The portal to the entry is hidden at the back of the cave in Baron's Peril. That's all I know. Take the ring back to Sylvanas. Okay. So now that I have your attention, level 20 means that, one, I can ride a mount. So I'm going to find a cool mount that's going to suit this character, and we're going to use it for the rest of time. That also means I get two new abilities. So I get cleanse, which means if I have a poison or a disease on me, I can use that, and it will go away. I can sort of get rid of anything that's negative affecting my body. And then I have another ability called Hammer of the Righteous. Um, it says, Hammer the current target for 52 physical damage, causing a wave of light that hits all other targets within 8 yards for 29 holy damage. So that's really great if I am fighting more than one enemy basically, um, because it hits multiple targets. Now let's bring the ring to Sylvanas and see what she wants us to do next. I know. Only one may enter. I know just the person for this mission. Sylvanas nods at you. Aw, oh, thanks, squirrel! I'll prepare our forces and have them at the ready. Alright, thank you again for joining me here on episode 4 of Let's Play Warcraft. Um, I'll see you next week, and we're going to conclude the storyline of Silverpine Forest. So we're going to invade the Archmage area and hopefully destroy the rest of Gilneas' forces. So, um, if you have any questions again about the episode this week or Warcraft in general, leave them in the comments. I'm more than happy to help you, and uh, I guess I'll see you next week. So, um, bye! Have a great week. Have a great week. Apparently somebody's dead. Have a great week. I mean, half the world's dead here. It's kind of... Oh, that's grim.